tonight's movie was The File on Thelma Jordan, a gripping film noir thriller written by Kitty Frings, directed by Robert Zjordmak, starring Barbara Stanwyck and Wendell Corey. An unhappily married district attorney, Wendell Corey, out on a drunken bender begins an illicit affair with mysterious femme fatale Barbara Stanwyck. But when her wealthy aunt is murdered and she is arrested for the crime, she convinces him to sabotage the case against her. But did she commit the murder? This is a riveting and suspenseful drama that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Barbara Stanwyck delivers a powerhouse performance as the femme fatale who keeps us guessing all the way. It's a really nuanced and complex performance from an actress at the top of her game. Wendell Corey is really interesting as the morally ambivalent anti-hero. He makes such terrible choices and we have to wonder if on some level he's actually trying to destroy his unhappy life. He's not really likeable as a character but his trajectory is nonetheless still really compelling. He keeps making these disastrous choices but we can't look away, it's like a train wreck. He's a very ordinary character, um, he's nothing special, he's no sort of dynamic hero or action man, and in a way I think it kind of makes him more interesting than if it had been played by someone who was more dynamic or heroic. Um, I guess the heart of it, he's, he's a very ordinary man who's getting completely out of his depth. The writing and dialogue in this film is exceptional. It has really standout dialogue and a lot of it is also very funny, especially in the earlier scenes. Um, but the dialogue has just this liveliness to it and a kind of realistic um, vibrancy and it's handled so well by Corey and Stanwyck. The lighting and cinematography in this film is everything you could want from a top draw film noir. Um, the lighting in particular is really beautiful and very atmospheric. The File on Thelma Jordan is a grim and gritty morality tale about a bored middle-aged man who throws everything away for a little bit of excitement. Um, in that way it reminded me a bit of Scarlet Street and also The Woman in the Window. But it's told with such flair and such lively dialogue. There are so many great characterizations in this movie. Everyone has an agenda and you don't know who can be trusted. I would highly recommend The File on Thelma Jordan if you're in the mood for a classic slice of film noir goodness. Uh, I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.